right, so today, a little bit of an interesting video. On my Instagram explore page, I got a recommendation for something called fried milk. It's kind of like as weird as it seems. How do you fry milk? But the recipe is basically just solidified milk, breaded, and then fried. Pretty simple. I've been doing a lot of frying recently. We're just gonna be solidifying the milk in the fridge and then frying it. So let's try it. So we're gonna start with 250 grams of milk. I'm using whole milk. That's a lot of milk. 30 grams of sugar, using brown sugar. 30 grams of cornstarch. So we're gonna mix our ingredients until it's nice and thick over low heat, low medium heat. We wanna get nice and thick. For some reason it's not getting any thicker. Oh, it's starting to thicken. Yes, sir. Woo, look at this. This looks like yogurt now. Okay, now that this is really thick, let's add it to a square bowl. This looks perfect. I'm gonna put some oil on the container so it doesn't stick. Oh yeah, now let's pour it in. What does it taste like? That's kind of fire. It definitely tastes Asian. So now it's in this container. We're gonna flatten it out, spread it out. Flatten it out, spread it out. Flatten it out, spread it out. Come on. Okay, so we have our milk that's been solidified by cornstarch and sweetened with brown sugar in this container. So now I'm gonna toss it in the fridge. So we'll be back in like an hour. So, since we're making fried milk, you're supposed to coat it in breadcrumbs, but it's milk. So I figured I'm gonna coat it in cereal instead. This is gonna be just like the Doritos episode. My pestle. All right, so we have our cereal crumbs. It smells cereal-y. All right, so. Now, it's been in the fridge for an hour, solidified. We're gonna take it out and cut it. All right, here it is. <laughs> wow, it just came out super easy, just like that. Okay, let's cut it up. The mega knife. We're gonna now cut it into bars. Woo, there we go. Cool, now let's just get an egg wash and a cornstarch wash. One egg, two egg. Oh, it's an eggshell. Nice. It's always the fingers. Come on now. Okay, so now we're gonna do half of the cereal and half plain. Oh my God, it's like falling apart. So, let's pour our oil in, a nice layer of oil. Uh, now let's see if the oil is hot. No, it is not. Oh yeah, it's heating up. Ooh, I should get an exit plate. Okay, let's try putting the first one in. Not bad. Let's try one of the encrusted milks. Solid. Now let's do multiple at a time. Man, this thing does not like me. We're on the final three pieces. Oh my goodness, it's falling apart. Come on! Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. And now it's time for the best part, the eating. This was interesting. You never would have thought that you could fry a drink. Let's try the normal one. It's kind of got like that crispy outside, like a creamy, smooth inside. That's pretty good. It's like the girl in the video says, or a lot of the comments in the video say, this is just basically a mozzarella stick. The girl in the video even references that they look like mozzarella sticks, but I mean, it tastes nothing like a mozzarella stick. It, it's a certified dessert. Now I'm gonna try the one with the cereal breading. That's crazy. That's a new twist on cereal with milk. Wow, that's actually insanely good. It's almost like you take the cereal and then you give it like this toasted flavor and then the milk adds the creaminess and like this smooth texture that's like a contrast to the fried breading. This is, this is good. I haven't had many misses on this channel yet. This is far. It's almost like French toasty. It's got like a bit of honey, that egg, the milk, the brown sugar, all like kind of mixing together. And I used whole milk, so you know that flavor is packed. Man, I gotta stop myself from finishing that. But shout out Instagram Explore page for giving me such a random recipe, but I was so, so interested in trying it that I think it's a hit. It's definitely something worth checking out and it's super simple too. It's like milk, cornstarch, sugar, and then egg, and then the bread. Five ingredients and I'd say the actual entire process was maybe about an hour combined. That's super clutch for like something that's super delicious. I mean, you could even like dip these in a sauce, like a sweet sauce, like a chocolate sauce or like condensed milk, that would be fire. But man, <laughs> this, great idea. This has been an episode of Vander Cooks and I'll see you.